Hi, welcome to Debbie's Rusty Brush. We have a lot of fun here, doing a lot of different things. I hope you hang out and stay a while. If you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Hit that little bell thingy so you never miss an episode. So we're going to start off by just misting our canvas. And then I'm going in, I'm using uh, DIY chalk paint. It's a clay-based paint um, today, and that is why I'm able to use so much water. If I was using acrylic, I would not be able to water it down as far as I'm watering it down. Um, acrylic is basically a plastic that um, they've made the paint with and if you water it down um, it weakens the bond the molecular molecular bond of the ingredients in acrylic paint this is a clay based paint and it's highly pigmented that's why we're able to water it down the way that I'm watering it down and to let it just run um, and so what I'm using is, um, the original color I had was Blue Iris, and then I went into Mermaid Tail. Now this bottom portion is a Dixie Belle color. It is a mineral chalk paint, um, not clay based, but it also is highly pigmented and works well with the water. And I am just putting it on, letting it run, um, and just until I have a background that I like. I am going all the way around the edges because if um, somebody doesn't want to frame this, it will be complete around the edges and there's no worries with just hanging it up the way it is. Now I am taking my heat gun and drying it to see if I like the look of it and then I can add more water, more paint. Um, the water will reactivate the, the paint that is there. So I'm just going to play back and forth using these three colors, water and my heat gun, until I get a background that I'm happy with and one that I want to work with. Um, in this case, we are going for um, kind of a water look, um, and that's why we're going with the blues. And so I just am going to play until I basically like the drips and the um, look of what I've got going for a background. There's no right or wrong here. Just play until you're happy. You can also, when you've got the water and you're drying it, if it's really wet, you can use the air from the heat gun to move the pigment around a little bit and create a different look. All right, and so now I've got some fire starter and I am just uh, getting that on there, spraying it and dragging it down a little bit. What we're going for here is an abstract, um, impressionistic jellyfish. And so we're going to do the same up here with this yellow, just kind of doing a dome for our jellyfish and then watering it down, bringing that uh, water mister in and pulling that paint down so that it just drips down and has the tendrils of the jellyfish. And so right now I've done fire starter, I've done liquid sunshine, and now I'm going to go in with a little bit of kissing booth, which is a hot pink color.
Okay, and now I've got a stencil brush and I'm just putting in um, a little bit of a color contrast into the body of our jellyfish. I'm also using a paper towel to pull back a little bit um, because we want our fish to be a little bit translucent where we see kind of through it, but um, we do want the color in there. Now with this one, I am using a little bit of farm fresh green in there just to give a little contrast and i am just putting paint on to my uh, stencil brush and then kind of dabbing it off so i've got a little bit of a drier brush in with the orange here i'm going in with some old 57 which is a really pretty teal color and it just offsets real well with the orange um, I blotted off a little more orange than I wanted blotted off, and so I wanted to add a little more in there. Going back in with some teal, and then I end up going in here also with a bohemian blue, which is um, a much darker teal color. And so you just play back and forth. I've got a paintbrush hair in there, so we want to get that out of there. Um, just play back and forth until you have what you are happy with. <clears throat> like I said, we aren't going for detail on these jellyfish. We're just going for the impressionist um, vibe of a jellyfish on this. Now with um, the hot pink here, I am going in with a little bit of Lucky Lavender and um, lightening that up just a bit to give our contrast um, because our pink is a darker, hotter pink. And then I'm going back in with some of the pink and then back again with some of the Lucky Lavender. So just playing back and forth until I get something that I'm happy with. Now we're going to dry this off and then what we're doing is going in with some oil pastel. Um, so this is a mixed media piece and so I'm just taking um, some oil pastel in the colors that we have used already on these jellyfish. And I'm just going in with some of that. The heat gun actually will um, heat that up so that I'm able to move it more with my fingers um, and change shape a little bit and uh, get it rubbed in in certain areas where I can get uh, more shadow and more depth. And it is a little warm after I've heated it up to be moving it around. Um, and so I start with just going in with the colors that we already have established from our chalk paint. All right, so I'm just going back and forth with the different colors to add some uh, light and dark and a little bit more texture, doing some finger blending. I am not looking for detail in these. I'm just looking for some subtle shading. Um, we're going in with some red up here. I felt that this needed a little bit more darkness. And as you can tell, as I heat it up and I bl start blending with my finger, it really brings that, that red to life. And now I'm just going in with a little more orange. And getting some more blending done. And a little yellow now.
And now up here I have done um, a light yellow and a darker yellow and so now I'm just going in with some white to give a little lighter contrast in areas. And there again we will heat it up, do a little finger blending. Um, it will blend without heating it up, but with the heated up it blends really nicely and it settles down into uh, the tooth of the canvas much easier with that heat being added. Okay, so now we have added in some purple and we're going to go in and add in a little bit of white as contrast into our pink jellyfish. And here we are with a little bit of lime green going in here on our orange. Um, I just didn't feel like he was having the right colors uh, going on. We needed a little bit more going on with him. He's uh, in the forefront, so he needs to be a little bit darker, a little bit bigger. And um, we want him to show up. Now I'm just misting it with water so that I can see the contrast between the back and the front. Um, as you could tell, when I mist it with water, it brings back the vibrancy of that uh, clay-based paint. It will lighten up as it dries, and it will come back to life with a uh, seal coat or with water um, so that you can see the vibrancy and see where you need to go if you need to make any changes, um, that sort of thing. So now we're going to give it a good dry going to uh, sign it and then I'm going to take some Krylon clear and I'm going to put a seal coat on. I will do more than one seal coat but it will give you a good idea of what it's going to look like with the vibrancy back in our background um, and that is pretty much it on how to make some really quick and simple jellyfish in an abstract impressionistic style. You can use any colors to do this. Um, there are no right or wrong answers. You can add more detail if you'd like. If you like these videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for hanging out.